What is up guys, it's the Great Storm here doing a installation of Valheim um, dedicated servers um, on Linux. I'm using CentOS uh, Docker container, it's the same thing as a Linux machine, so Linux CentOS machine, so you should be fine. Um, I currently have a repo environment of a couple of Ansible scripts that you can utilize to spin up your game servers. I'm currently having Minecraft, Rust, um, Terraria and Valheim. Terraria is currently not accessible, but we're not going to get into that. We're going to get into uh, Valheim. So let's go ahead and do the installation of get. Uh, we need Ansible. And that's pretty much it. You got to do an Apple um, release to get that in there. Once you get that in there, you can just go ahead and do the installation again. Install get, install Ansible. So I'm going to show you the stock way of doing it. Um, how um, I'm not going to show you how to download it because my scripts do the downloading for me. But I'm going to show you like how their documentation shows on their PDF what to do. But I'll also show you how my script and what it does and how you can use my script instead of using the their show script. I would recommend people that are new to uh, Linux who don't really know about Ansible would recommend using the shell script. It's easier to use, um, but it's it's all preference. So let's go ahead and do a git clone of my repository. My repository is uh, the great storm slash game dash Ansible dot get. You'll see this on the, the video itself as well as the description. All right. So in here, we're gonna go ahead and look at the documentation for Valheim. We ha already have a, a command you can use. I'm currently using the default slash opt slash server. Um, it's a container for me. It's not really a big deal. I can just spin it up and destroy it whenever I want. So go ahead and just do that. It will go ahead and install Valheim for you. Um, I'm pretty much gonna cut the video until after the installation. So. See you guys then. All right, the installation's complete. If you go to the opt slash server, you'll see that Valheim directory is installed. You'll also see a logs folder. The logs folder is typically where my script is going to put the logs, um, mainly because if you do a uh, start underscore server dot sh, you're not going to see the logs. I believe the logs are somewhere else located in the directory. Um, but I like to put my logs in the logs folder. It's just a preference. Uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, Valheim. All right, so you're going to want to look for something called start underscore server dot sh. You're going to want to open that up and you want to go look for this instance right here. Um, you're going to want to go here and say, um, let's say storm YouTube test. Um, the port number I'm currently using is 6.2. I'm already have, I already have like a bunch of instances of the same company server. Uh, what do you like? Um, if you want to do a public where you don't have to require a password, you want to make this. Um, I know it for developers zero is false, so you're saying public false, which means make it private. But in this case, zero public means to make this public. Zero. Uh, public one makes it private public zero makes it public so we're going to make it public when you do public you don't want to put a password um you want to leave password empty when you have the value in one you want to put something in the password if you don't put a password and you have the public one it will error out with a thread issue in the log saying hey i'm not working um it won't say hey i'm not working just say a bunch of thread issues but uh, we're going to go forward with the public zero, password empty. I'm going to leave everything else besides the name and the port. We're going to save that. And you want to go ahead and run the script. Once you do that, you want to look at the value right here. You're going to see the... You're going to see that's running. We're going to go ahead and uh, look for it on the web. 
I always forget the IP address, so please give me a minute while I go get it. So we got two, four, five, six. Um, it will actually be three. So in order to connect to it, uh, my bad. I don't. It's actually two, four, five, uh, six, three. Two, four, six, three. Yeah. So we we're using port two, four, six, two. That's um, that's the game port. Um, but if you want to have it, this, uh, but in order to look for it in your server browser. You're going to add a plus one on your port, so it'll be 63 instead of 62, 2462, 2463. You want to click find, and you'll find it. Um, you go ahead and add it to your favorites, and you'll be able to log in. You'll be able to see it on the browser, on the game itself. It may take a while. Use lowercase when looking for your servers. Um, I know they've been since consistent, but the filtering is kind of iffy as far as I've seen so far. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and switch over back to this box. I'm going to go ahead and kill off this process. Now we're going to go back to the OPT folder. In this OPT folder, you're going to want to go ahead and run my Ansible script called Start YAML. I'm going to go ahead and grab my notes right here. All right, so I may need to put the right directory, so it'll be game ansible val heim, and in the vars I say opt folder or opt slash server um, server name. Uh, the server name we'll put a storm YouTube test dedicated. We want the public to be zero. We don't. We want a public. We don't want a private, and we want to make sure the password is empty. And we're going to make sure the port number is correct, 62. All right, go ahead and run that. We'll spin up the instance. You'll see right here saying starting server check log. You can do a tail dash 100f. And while you're in pretty much, this is how it looks. Um, if you see a thread issue for whatever reason, it's typically associated to either the password is empty and your public is one. If you see another uh, exception with a thread um, regarding the Steam app SO, I believe it's Steam app SO, um, it's typically that your environment variables are not uh, allocated. Um, I would recommend use a start underscore server sh. My script does contain the, ver the environmental variables, but if for whatever reason why you're using this, you Run into that issue. Just go ahead and uh, raise an issue, of course, and I'll take a look at it. Um, thank you so much. This is my tutorial on how to spin up a Valheim um, game server on Linux CentOS 8. And uh, have a great night, guys.